Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I'm sitting here with Suraj. He's studying here in, in the University of RWTH Aachen. Right now I'm in Aachen and meeting him. He's a master's student currently studying MME time, which I will let him explain in a while. But uh, Suraj, why don't you give us your introduction first? Hello everyone, my name is Suraj. I'm from Goa and I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Goa University. Mm -hmm. I scored 76%. Then after I joined uh, Sulzari India Private Limited in Pune. Uh, I worked there for seven years as a senior team leader Okay. and uh, since then I'm here in Germany doing my management and engineering course in technology, innovation, marketing and entrepreneurship which is MME time. That's what it meant, MME uh, time. Okay. What I want to ask you is what kind of bachelors are accepted for this course? Okay, the basic uh, eligibility criteria here is uh, any bachelor's degree in STEM of course so you can apply if you have a any bachelor's degree whether it is mechanical electrical information technology or any other field and is there any uh, mandatory requirement for work experience yeah uh, it is around one year okay but at the time of application if you have a six month uh, work experience that is also sufficient because it is expected that uh, Till the time you get in here, it will be around 12 months. Wait a second. So I just want to elaborate this point. So how many intakes are there first? first time? So for this particular course, it is just a winter semester. So it's winter just a one semester. intake. Yeah. Okay. That's what his previous point meant. If you're applying for this course, let's say in the month of January or February, and you proceed with the whole thing. And by the time you get the results, let's say you've got selected, you're coming to Germany. It is going to be October. By then it's already going to complete more six more months. So that's yeah, already, absolutely. Right. So Rich, can you just tell us how did you get the admission? So let's start with what documents did you collect? For Okay, so basically there is uh, academic documents and which comprises of letter of motivation, mm -hmm. letter of recommendation, your bachelor's degree, your transcripts, work experience certificate and a CV. So you took all these things. Did you get any document attested, anything? Uh, no, uh, no, it is just self-attested documents uh, in PDF format. You have to upload it on the portal. Isn't there a requirement for ILTS or GRE? Yeah, uh, there is a requirement for language like for ILTS, it's a 5.5 score, okay. a minimum requirement and there is no GRE requirement as such for this particular course. Okay. For other course in Ayurveda, I think they have GRE score requirement. So I take all these documents, yeah. what do I do with them? Now I want to apply for your course. Okay, so you go on the Arvetea portal. Uh, RWTH, he's talking in German. Yeah, so German. in English it's called RWTH and in German you call it Arvetea. Yeah. So basically you go to RWTH portal, you have to create your application ID. Once you create your application ID, they will give you a list of documents, mm -hmm. a checklist mm -hmm. wherein you have to upload these documents, mm -hmm. uh, the documents which I have just specified earlier, and then you have to submit it. And there are few uh, personal uh, uh, information that they ask, so you have to upload it. Any application fees are involved, any money involved in the application? So basically the application online is uh, absolutely free. Okay. Uh, however, for the course fee, it is around 30,000 euros for this particular course. Ah, I heard it, but okay, so it is 30,000 euros. Yes. It's a paid course. Cost. It's yeah. a paid course here yeah. in Ardu Bhutia Jharkhand. Okay, got it. Did you only apply in this college for this course or did you also apply for other colleges? Uh, actually, I had applied around 12, 13 universities. Oh. Actually, from all parts. Like from Europe, I applied in Germany, Sweden. Then I applied uh, in Switzerland, one university, then Northeastern University. So you applied all these places? Yes. So yeah, in Germany, I applied for four or five universities, basically. In Ayurveda, I applied for four, four or five different courses. Mm -hmm. Then I applied for HTW Berlin, MBA and E course. Mm -hmm. Then I applied in MDN Leo for technological management mm -hmm. and few other courses. Out of all these applications, how many you got selected? Basically, overall I got 10 different admits. Uh, 10 different admits. Yeah, 10 different admits. Uh, and in Ayurveda, I got admit for three different courses. Okay, wow. Uh, the course with MME abbreviation stands for Management and Engineering, mm -hmm. which is a blend of both management as well as engineering. Okay. PS stands for Production System. Kami stands for Computer Aided Mechanical Engineering. Okay. And uh, time obviously it stands for Technology, Innovation, Marketing and Entrepreneurship. Got it. Since we're talking about MME time, there are I think more specialization also in that, right? Yes. What are they? As I said, uh, it's a blend of technological technology and management. So in technology you have specialization like laser technology, okay. production technology, then you have information technology and uh, there is sustainable uh, technology as well. 
So these are technological electives and then you have a separate field for management. You have technology innovation management, strategy management, marketing management, entrepreneurship management and few other courses. And how is the course structured? It is basically of 90 credits. So it is divided into three semesters. Mm -hmm. So you have to complete it in three semesters. But anyways, it is flexible. This is the minimum period. So you can complete this also in one one complete year. Where is your interest while studying? Which which area do you want to specialize yourself? Since uh, my previous uh, company role was a team leader, a senior team leader. So I would like to join in a company wherein I can uh, get to explore more in this field like both techno management roles will be more beneficial for me okay. so basically i will look for business development mm -hmm. or product management for such other fields how big is your class strength currently we have around 50 students when you say technology and management what is the percentage of it how much of it is a management and how much of it is a technology basically uh, for the first semester you have six essential subjects so it is basically technological innovation management strategy management entrepreneurship management marketing management and Akun Innovation Project. These are essential subjects. Okay. So for the next semester, uh, you can either select uh, three uh, technical electives and five management electives, or else you can take four technical electives and four management electives. So it is very flexible. Let's talk logically. In a sense, what is expected out of this course? So basically, this course uh, helps you develop your interdisciplinary mindsets, okay. and uh, it develops you in such a way that you can tackle the technological management and social challenges mm -hmm. in the business environment. Um, this question is kind of bothering me in my head, but I really want to know when you go out for a full-time job mm -hmm. after you have completed the course, what kind of skill set you think you will already have and what kind of technical knowledge you would need? So basically the course is catered in such a way that uh, you get to work on real-time case studies of different companies, analyze those case studies in a classroom. Mm -hmm. And that way we are almost prepared to tackle any techni technological or managerial situations that come up in the business environment. These are the skills that we will definitely uh, get through this management course. So I would like to add one more point. Yeah, uh, so basically our course at Airwayteha, it's in collaboration with Cambridge. Uh, Airwayteha such, has such a strength to have a collaboration with a highly reputed universities like Cambridge. It is a one week course in okay. Cambridge and it is basically a ecosystem practicum uh, which deals with uh, how to deal with cross-functional uh, abilities in a functional environment. So they will guide us, they will in turn uh, support us and developing those skills required. Right. And this is part of your course? Yes, it is a part of course. And you're going to Cambridge, you're going to do this for a week, come yeah. back? Yes, so okay. our uh, currently our plan is to go in March. So it is basically in the end of first semester that, that we have to go there. I mean, see, this is the kind of strength what this school has, as, as he said, the kind of exposure what they give and the kind of position what they put you in and the kind of people what they bring in and these people who teach you, they're the best people from the industry, trust me. Um, Any last message, Suraj, you want to get across to all those people who are looking for safe course? I would say that uh, there is a lot of opportunities here in Germany, specifically for techno management role. The course like MME Time or any MME uh, courses in Airwate to say in any other different universities, this uh, courses will develop you in such a way that you can easily tackle any uh, technological or management uh, related uh, challenges in the near future. For all the students in India, I would say that you can apply for these courses and you will have a bright future here in Germany. That was solid advice. Thanks for tuning in. I think uh, that was a good note to end this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.